remembered him, look, there's his coat of arms up there, see it? Underneath that, in Latin, in the stone, it says, caught red-handed. That's him, that's my Uncle Charlie. He built it. This is a program that London Weekend Television put out. It's a very serious documentary. It's a fly on the wall documentary. It's called The Estate, and it's about life on a housing estate in East London, and some of the terrible things that happen, the violence that lives very, very close to the surface in these communities, all right? Let's put it on, and I'll just talk you through it. Here we go. Now, I just explained to you what's happening, basically. Very attractive woman there, right from the start. <laughs> very, very good-looking girl, I've always thought. So handsome, we've had to black her face out, right? <laughs> Let me tell you what's happening. Imagine you're living next door to these people, and they've got a camera crew around, and they're going to be on national television. And, like, the next day, everyone in the country is going to see them, and they're going to be celebrities, and you're sitting there, and you're all on your own, and you've got nothing. And you think, I know what I'll do. I'll nip round and I'll try and get, like, smize into a few shots, like that. Show people what a nice, affable, likeable chap I am. Might even get an advert out of it, you never know. <laughs> Just before I leave, I'll have a couple of drinks for Dutch courage. Other great thing about this family, best doorbell in the world. Starts off as born free and then goes completely haywire. <laughs> have a listen. Born free. <laughs> Now, just before we go any further, a bit of a tip for you. A bit of a showbiz tip. If you're going to go on television and it's your first appearance, get yourself a catchphrase. Like, nice to see you, to see you nice. Swinging, dodgy. Some of the people immediately recognise you by. This bloke's got a corker. Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> Now, I have to say, I, I don't know if you missed what he said there. Hang on, let's have a look. Hang on, hang on. No, no, we caught that one. He's got a little speech. Listen, listen. That is dead. Now, this is one of his other charming characteristics. He says things are dead when it's patently obviously they're not. And he also says things are gonna die, but they're not. It's just a bit of a gag, right? Now, he does look like Lester Piggott. <laughs> Now, his mate Ian is about to appear on the scene. Now, Ian's got a problem. He wants to find out what's the matter with his mate. OK, fair enough. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. Either quite deep-rooted psychoanalysis to find out where his angst is coming from, or you can just ask him, what's the matter, mate? Fifteen times. Ian goes for the latter route, obviously. <laughs> what's the matter, mate? Ian! One. What's the matter, mate? Two. What's the matter, mate? Three. Come here, Another very good looking girl there. Right, now. Next time you touch me, you're dead. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Have they got a dog? Has anyone seen a dog in this room? There's no dog, is there, in that room? Where's that noise coming from? Listen. Shush, shush, listen. He's growling! <laughs> He's got the catchphrase and the growl. There's Mr. Showbiz, as far as I'm concerned. Five X. Get me a now, he's coming to his own now. <laughs> we know he can do all the catchphrases, he's got all the chat, he can growl like a good un. But now we re... because we didn't like him, we thought, he's coming, he's behaved hideously to this woman. <laughs> But now we love him, because he can do the thing that only a crazy Uncle Bernie could do, or the double-jointed boy from school could do. He can do this, have a look. What? Ready? He can do the arm trick. He's everything I've ever wanted to be. But look, let's get a bit more serious now. He's come in, he has behaved quite appallingly, and what we need to know is what is the matter with him? What's caused him to behave like this? What's his problem? Let's see if we can find out. Oh, yeah, that prat answered the door to me. Fine. <laughs> that prat answered the door to me. Bollocks. <laughs> Perfectly reasonable explanation for his behaviour. Now, they've had a bit of a ruction, Ian and his mate, and what they've done now 
as they've gone out on the balcony to sort it out. It's a lovely summer's evening, and they've gone, let's just go out on the balcony and have a bit of a chat. Man to man. Oh, really? there they go. Come on. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Next time you move that, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. He's threatening to kill him again. Uh, <laughs> Growling. They can growl outdoors just as well as indoors. And he looks even more like Lester Piggott in that light. Now, here we go. What they're doing now, they're just having a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart now, just talking a few things through, all right? Let's just... I'll just run it through. You can just watch it. It's only a minute or so. Just watch it and see, see what they're like. I don't hate you. No. All I'm going to do is hit your fucking prat that comes near me. And I? Hey, God. Well, that shows you how I hit people. No, it's not. You're just going to pull it right in. Sorry, mate. No. That yeah. just shows you why I do people. That was the nasty thing to do. Hey, so that. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, Millsy, this is just a bit of mindless violence. There's no rhyme or reason at all in anything they're doing. But in actual fact, we'll go through it again and you'll see that everything this man does, he does for a sane, sensible reason. Let's just have a look. I don't want to hit you. I don't want to hit you. Stick with that remark. Whatever else happens, you're my mate. I don't want to hit you. That's completely out of the question that I should ever hit you. Oops! Pon my soul, bless my word, what have I been and gone and done now? <laughs> I've only gone and hit you ever so sorry. Well, that shows you how I hit people. No, you just hit me fully right in. Sorry, mate. Sorry, oh, mate. Now, he's apologised now, fairly. <laughs> but why does he keep doing it? Why does he keep hitting him? Listen. It yeah. just shows you why I do people. That just shows you why I do people. <laughs> that is how I hit people. I don't want to hit you, but if I was, perchance, going to hit you, that would kind of be the tempo of the whole thing. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. That was a nasty thing to do. Eh, ça va. Eh, ça va. You know what this is, don't you? Persian chili balimoba. <laughs>